Rajya Sabha MP Rakesh Sinha joining us. Uh, Mr. Sinha, thank you so much for speaking to us. It's a very sad occasion this morning. How do you remember Hira Ben Modi? You know, uh, I, I, I love the idea of uh, Mr. Modi. You see, she earned the respect of the entire world that she has uh, her, her, uh, because Modi ji, uh, uh, the leadership and Modi ji contribution to the society and her wishes. And she served as a mother without any expectations. This is the example of the true mother who is serving the nation through her, through her son. She never expected anything. She was the mother of the prime minister, but she remained as a, in the uh, life of austerity, uh, austerity and, uh, and without a notion of power. This is a unique case. And this is an example of that hot Sankarachaj and, and, and his mother was. So the Prime Minister Modi ji and, and his mother. Her, her demise is really shocking for us because uh, in her life, she, 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 has been a, she has been a center of attraction. She is a center of inspiration for the people of the country. And this is also an example for everyone that how to serve the nation, how to serve the society without any expectation. A mother who, who has lived a life, uh, entire life serving the people, and, and this, is a, this is a great example, and we are really very shocked to see uh, that she is no, no more, and, uh, and I'm unfortunate I could not meet her, but a larger number of people have visited her, met her, and everybody realized that her, her role, her life, her action, everything was just for the nation. She inspired the people. She inspired her son. You know, she never expected the Prime Minister of India to serve his family. She expected the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Modi ji, who, who, who is her son, that he should live for the nation and the society. Absolutely. Mr. Sinha, uh, those are wise words there. We also uh, ask you to stay with us. Uh, the Prime Minister, whenever he would visit, it, uh, visit Gandhinagar, uh, he'd always be seen uh, meeting her. They would uh, share a simple meal, a conversation, whatever time they could spend together, uh, they would and they would seem very happy to do it. H how do you, having watched this, I'm uh, presuming for many years, how do you remember and uh, quantify their bond? What do you make of it? What are your recollections? Whenever Modi ji visited and we found that this is, he visited just like a, a small child. When he was sitting with his mother, he, he behaved like a small child, touching her, touching her feet, talking to her. And this looked like a very, very beautiful relationship between the two. I, I didn't know how his mother would have been responding and telling her. I, I, I imagine that she must be thinking that whatever you are doing, my wishes are with you. And I think the, the, power, the power of the Prime Minister, the source of the power of Prime Minister was his mother, it would be the spirit of his mother. Because whenever he visited there, and he never felt that my mother is living in austerity. This shows that Prime Minister is concerned about the common people. If a, if a common mother, a common person is living in the austerity, so power should not be used for, for the family. This is, the, this is the biggest exceptional example in the modern world that the most powerful person sitting at the top of the uh, state power has not been doing anything, iota of things for any, anyone in the family. And her mother supported in this moral. So the, her mother has been, the, has been the source of this morality, public morality, source of his uh, uh, life of austerity, source of his strength. I think whenever they met, that was a relationship between a mother and a child. Right, most definitely, I, I agree with you. Also, you know, if you remember um, earlier this year and on many occasions previously, Rakesh Sinha, uh, the Prime Minister had spoken about her or he would write about her. He would uh, rekindle some of his uh, old memories uh, with her, of them growing up, of them living in Vadnagar, uh, long before he became a politician, long before he even became an adult. Uh, a lot of the time. He described her in his uh, recent uh, post earlier this year as simple but extraordinary. Uh, how would you quantify that? Would you have any similar recollections of her? You know, you know in the earlier life, Modi's family had been suffering due to the economic crisis. And her mother was the source for the livelihood for the family. 
the child who who had grown up in that situation, uh, they became uh, came into public life not as a politician but a RSS prachara. He he did a lot of work as a RSS prachara uh, and identified himself with the society, social cause, social concerns. Thereafter, he became politician. So he had very yeah, little Mr. time Sinha. to. Push Right, Mr. Sinha, value those words. Uh, we have visuals as well coming in right now.